Next, we have Fred Forsley, class of 83, co-founder, owner at Shipyard Brewing. As you can see, uh, he's a multi-time entrepreneur as well. Uh, Captain Eli Soda, Ice Pig Vodka, which is very good, by the way. And actually, they have a facility just up the road. Uh, Live and Grind Coffee Company, State Street Market, Federal Jack's Restaurant and Brew Pub, Regatta Event Center, Shipyard Brew Pub, Kenny Bunk Brewery. There's a theme here. Uh, the Inn on Peaks Island, again, another amazing place. Um, from a philanthropy, philanthropy and uh, community standpoint, uh, Fred is a consistent supporter of hundreds of nonprofits uh, from Maine to Florida, uh, with particular support uh, of the cancer community. So, Fred, congratulations on your induction. Sorry. So, um, thank you, Ian, and thank due to the uh, university and the East Center, which is truly an amazing, amazing facility. So anyways, the, uh, when I got the email and it said uh, UNH, uh, I always, when Ian, Ian's taken on a whole new meaning to me, the name Ian, but in any event, um, when I saw the, the question, it said, come up with a problem that's facing the world and how can UNH solve it? And I said, that's easy, I got it. People aren't drinking enough beer. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, beer, and, beer, and, and beer is the drink of temperance. So, you know, that would open up a lot of conversation, makes life a little easier. But I didn't think UNH would get behind um, solving that problem. So I thought, okay, what else, is, what else is a big problem? And I talked about it with many friends, my wife, others, and um, it hit me when I realized that in the city of Portland right now, there's not one active member. The city manager is a, a, is a, um, a vol not a volunteer, but a, uh, an acting. And we have an acting a a fire chief, an acting police chief. And then, I, then it was really something that through my whole life I've seen happen as a younger child, um, volunteerism. And it, I go started Googling volunteerism and come to find out since 2005, volunteerism has been on a decrease. It was uh, it increased during World War II and was w rised right after World War II into the 50s. After 9-11, it spiked up again. And then since 2005, it's increasingly decreased, decreased, decreased. So volunteerism is such an important part of what built America and what built the world. If you don't have volunteerism, you don't have that extra energy to get something done. If you think of this university, you think of churches, you think of schools, you think of uh, monuments, you think of breweries. Without volunteers, you definitely aren't going to get that done. And then I started Googling what it meant to people to volunteer and come to find out there are 15 things, over 15 things that personally you benefit from when you volunteer. And then I said, well, what does it really mean economically? And at a minimum, it's $27 an hour for every volunteer that does something. Now, the more educated or the more impactful you are and the more tools you have, if you volunteer, that can increase dramatically. And I'm not really talking about philanthropy. I'm not talking about writing a check. So then I sat back and said, okay, what can UNH do to, uh, to make a difference in the world? And by requiring every student to actually take a semester course that would be designed in volunteerism. And they had to basically either do it in their own field, politics, or something else that they felt would impact it. Could be pass-fail, but they had to do it. And I honestly believe that would change the world because it would affect anything from homelessness, hunger, whatever it is, and obviously we're full with very, very bright people. The students today are very impressive. Um, what Ian, you've done here, and the rest of the university and the community's done, it's, it's... So anyways, volunteerism. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah.